Vlog 165. It's me, Jaime, the shedding cartoonist, musician, uh, vlog casting, of course, from the Corn Tortilla Press World Headquarters, located on a toasty little island in the San Francisco Bay. And I'm hydrating a lot today. It was hot yesterday, Whew, triple digits in places it shouldn't be. Um, and the places that we always get triple digits were way up there in the triple digi world. Um, we're going to talk about today is EC Comics, and um, I, this just came in the mail about a week and a half ago. Got it on sale for 25 bucks, hardbound. It's Terror Train and other stories, illustrated, of course, by Al Feldstein. Great EC artist, man. And my, my history with EC Comics, holy beans, man. Let me tell you, it's... Uh, it goes back in the artwork. His stories are top notch. Um, here's just a small example. And for those of you in the know, it's very reminiscent of um, one of my absolute closest pals in cartooning and just a close friend in general, Mac White out of Texas. He's a Tejano. He's a Texas cartoonist. Mac I've known close to 30 years, if not 30 years, and uh, has very reminiscent of this style. And... Um, Boy, Al Feldstein and Mac White are just champions, just champion cartoonists. And my history with EC Comics is uh, back when we moved back to Sacramento in the late 60s, I turned seven and my mom had met somebody. My dad was already gone and stuff. My mom was emancipated and she met her boyfriend who would become her boyfriend of 20 years. And when they were first going together, they were going out a lot. And, uh, you know, they'd go off for weekends, too, which is, you know, common. And there was a family we knew before we left. My dad and moved to San Francisco, and my mom was still friends with them. They still lived over in River Park. They were still friends of ours. And uh, they had a son and a daughter, older son and his daughter. And his, his sister was a couple years younger. And they were both, uh, she was just into junior high, beginning of high school. So I met ninth grade, maybe 10th. And he was a year or so older, so he was, you know, 10th or 11th grade. And uh, my mom, when they'd go, my mom and her boyfriend leave on weekends, they'd send me over there. And they'd pay the daughter, Cheryl, um, you know, a couple of days, you know, to babysit me. Which she was more than happy to do because I was like one of the family. They loved me, I loved them. It was a great setup. But what made it even better is Tommy had the EC Comics, her older brother. And they were in his closet. And his only, he let me read them. I'm seven years old. And he would say this. You could read them anytime you want. Just, just tell me. But make sure you don't ruin them, don't tear them, and put them back where you found them. Simple rules, and I followed them to the T. And, I, you know, comic books helped me learn to read. You know, it's ironic because I write, you know, and I make comics now. But, you know, growing up in grade school and so forth, I was always in the uh, slow person reading groups and stuff. I was not considered very intelligent back in the day. In fact, when I was going to Catholic school, we weren't allowed to speak Spanish. And you were kind of considered stupid for being bilingual. Go figure. But anyway, that's another story for another time. So, EC Comics, man. And my little kid fantasy was that, you know, because Tommy was much older. He was like my hero. Uh, one of them, anyway. Um, I thought to myself, well, when he gets out of high school or something, he's going to go, ah, I'm done with this comic book kitty stuff. Here, you can have them. I was hoping for that, him just grabbing the pile and handing them to me. Never happened. <laughs> but the things you fantasize about. But, um, yeah, they were great. They were great to me. And those EC comics were something else. So that was my little history with them. And uh, I highly recommend this. Like I said, it's Fantagraphic Books. Go online. Find out if it's still on sale. I got it for 25 bucks. It's 35 bucks regular. And you won't be disappointed. I've skimmed it. I still have to read it. I got a stack of books on my nightstand I'm reading. You know, most of them are novels and like, you know, li little easy reading things. You know, like the history of the United States, but, uh, the people's history of the United States by Howard Zinn. You know, I got those little things going. But I also have funny, funnier books that I wouldn't say are haha funny. It's just ironic. I've never read them. I have The Great Gatsby in line to read. Um, I also have two biographies I want to read. Both men knew each other of John Fahey, one biography, and another one of Alan Blindow uh, Wilson, who is a guitar player and founder of Canned Heat. Um, and let's see, I've already gone through the Oct Octavia Butler uh, books, and there's a couple other books that I'm skipping on. And then there's books I reread, too. I'm planning on reading again, 100 Years of Solitude. 
which is a book I like to read at least biannually. And every now and then I like to read Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. Go, I don't know why, I just dig it. I haven't read in about 10 years, so I think I'm due. Anyway, that's it. It's about five minutes of your time you're not going to get back. I'm trying to stay cool today. Don't forget to hydrate as much as possible. Water, plain water, not fizzy water, not soda pop. Water, just water. You don't have to have a cold, but just water. Water is really good for you. And if you have to go out, put up, you know, the old mask. Wash and sanitize your hands a lot, a lot. And stay away from people. In fact, stay away from the beaches, man. All my friends are just sending these pictures and stuff of just, it's just inundated with idiots. Like, you know, seven o'clock in the morning and cars are just lined up down the, the PCH already trying to get into the parking lots and stuff. You know, it's barely daylight. Anyway, stay in. <laughs> but otherwise, be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you next time. See ya.